So welcome back to my channel, it's Mike Z, aka Didi. I'm still here in Nigeria, and uh, today I'm making my last video because I'm leaving tonight with a with a flight at uh, nine o'clock p.m. I've had a good time here. Uh, I've been here. I was supposed to be here for only one week. Ended up staying for two weeks, and I had a one-way ticket uh, from Kenya to Lagos. And uh, from Lagos, I, I flew to uh, Abuja. I stayed in Lagos for, for like a week. I had a good time there. And I came to Abuja. And uh, here I am. And today is uh, my last day. So I just decided to make a video about my experience in Nigeria. It's, it's a beautiful place. Uh, I loved it. Uh, but the whole place is humid. It's, it's, it's hot. And <laughs> I, I know I'm a summer bunny, but it's too much heat for me. And, uh, it's it's not like Kenya. If if you if you wanna go to Mombasa, you can go to Mombasa and then go back to Nairobi where it's cool. There's every every city you go to is just it's just hot and humid. And ah, I've been sweating, <laughs> I've been sweating a lot and taking a lot of showers <laughs> every day, <laughs> every day. And uh, I'm homesick already. I, I wanna go back. Uh, my flight is tonight, and I'm just making my last video with a star here next to me. You know, she actually is saying she's gonna start a new a YouTube channel. <laughs> I guess I guess she I guess she liked the experience and uh, what I'm doing, and she wanna start a new YouTube channel, right, sir? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I've been trying to show her how to do the uh, video editing. Uh, for cause for myself, uh, I had to learn it through YouTube, um, all that kind of stuff. I, I learned it through YouTube, a lot of research and knowing how to do it. Um, so I'm gonna talk about my experience here. Um, so Lagos, Lagos was fun. If you if you wanna come to Niger and uh, you wanna stay in Lagos and uh, you wanna stay in uh, Victoria Island, <laughs> that's this is a beautiful beach. Uh, it's, uh, it's it's nice out there. Um, I know there's traffic going that way. And what I would advise if you if you come to Nigeria and you're going to Lagos, I would advise like uh, get a late flight leaving from Lagos so you don't get stuck in traffic because you will be going against traffic because in the morning people are going to the mainland. And in the evening, people are going from the mainland, going to the Victoria, island. the island. So, so what I would advise is, uh, if you if you come here, uh, stay in uh, Victoria Island, but uh, make sure your flight leaving is later on in the afternoon, in the evening, or at night, so you don't get stuck in traffic. So much traffic here. I've, I've never experienced so much traffic as it is out here. <laughs> it's, it's worse than California traffic. Uh, so many people live out here. <laughs> Lagos is it's, it's like another country. So a lot of people live there. Um, but I had a good time uh, at the beach. Um, then I decided to check out Abuja. And uh, so, but if if, uh, if I had to do it again, I would have stayed longer in uh, Lagos than uh, Abuja. Abuja it's a nice place. It's a modern city, and they have really invested in the infrastructure, like all the freeways or the highways. The you just like in the US. Uh, uh, there's no much uh, traffic like Lagos, and uh, uh, they, they got traffic lights out here. <laughs> you, you know, like in Nairobi, most of the streets don't have traffic lights, and uh, a lot of, there's a lot of roundabouts, and those roundabouts they cause so much traffic. And here, there's traffic lights, so and people obey traffic rules. They just don't drive like crazy like in Nairobi. But anyway, I like I like it being out here, and uh, I had a good time. Thank you, staff, for taking me around the whole country. Um, You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's but everything has to come to an end, and uh, I'm gonna have to leave tonight. Uh, but let me let me talk about a few other things that I noticed when I was out here. Um, you know those you know, people talk about uh, it's you have to be careful when you're out there. It's it's not safe, but I think it's 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 safe. I didn't see any crime, or I felt safe walking on the street. I can even hold my phone. Uh, but you know, like in Nairobi, you're scared of people snatching your phone away from you. It's not like that over here. It's really safe. I don't know about the rural areas be, uh, because I know there's a lot of kidnapping go going on in the rural areas. And when you go for your visa, they advise you stay in the major cities. Uh, but it, it's safe out here. I didn't, I didn't have any issues or I did not observe anything happening. And uh, people are well behaved. They, they drive just fine and. Uh, it's, it's not, I like my stay here. Stay, you got anything to add?
Yeah, you wanted to talk about the electricity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the electricity here is, is stressful. Uh, <laughs> if you stay in a hotel, you don't notice it. But if you stay in an Airbnb, that's when you notice that uh, it's an issue. Uh, <laughs> like, I've been on this place for a while, for over a week, and there's not a single day there was electricity all day. Sometimes it comes on for an hour, and then it's gone for another, <laughs> for another few more days. <laughs> it's, you know... When in Kenya, you used to having power all the time. And here, they depend on generators all the time. And you have to have the generator on, the sound of the generator. You're trying to sleep at night, and it's so loud. And you have to call the caretaker or the person taking care of the apartment. Hey, can you turn my generator on? Uh, I guess it goes off by itself. Maybe when the fuel is finished, it goes off. Or maybe they turn it off. They don't want to use a lot of fuel. Uh, so it is a challenge. Uh, that's when you appreciate where you come from. There's a lot of, uh, no, you don't have those kind of issues, uh, electricity issues. Uh, you appreciate when you come here and knowing how humid it is and without power is, is a challenge. Uh, sleeping under AC because uh, uh, if no power, there's no AC. Uh, during the day, they turn, on, turn off the generator and they want us to use the fans. I guess they try to save money. And I'm not used to this heat. I'm not used to staying without AC in uh, Arizona. So. So the electricity is a, is a challenge out here. Um, and then trying to get the right. Yeah, trying to get an Uber. Is, in, Lagos. in Lagos, we didn't have an issue trying to get an Uber. Uh, but over here in Abuja, uh, we order for an Uber. Then the, the driver will call us and ask, where are you going? We tell them where they are going. They're like, oh, no, I'm not going that way. So much traffic. So it was a, it's a challenge getting a ride sometimes during rush hour. Um, uh, but they have this app you can, I don't know, what's the name of the app? You can specify how much you're going to pay the driver. M-Drive. M M-Drive. M-Drive. M M-Drive. They have this app called M-Drive. Uh, I like it because you can name your price, uh, how much you're going to pay for your ride. And then the, the driver will either accept the price or counter offer. So it, it's better for both of you. Uh, if you're trying to get a ride, you cannot get a ride. You can give them a higher price and then they will pick you up. So I like it. Uh, I think it's a, that's a good app. Oh, the other thing, uh, you know, people are always worried about Juju. You see all those movies, there's Juju everywhere. <laughs> but that just exists in the movies. It's not real. <laughs> I know people do Juju. Even in Kenya, people do Juju. But you cannot do Juju to a stranger. You have to know the person you're, you're with for you to do them. Juju. Did you do Juju on me? No. <laughs> and I'm not going crazy or barking like a dog like I see in the movies. <laughs> do people like people do that or it's just fake? Barking like dogs on the street. It's fake. It's fake, guys. It's, it's just movies, so it's, it's, it's that's no real. <laughs> and there's no juju. Uh, yeah, I had a good time. And the other thing, uh, the food is, is, they like spicy food. Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm not used to spicy food. Uh, so when I used to go to a restaurant, I would request, please don't make my food spicy. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's really hard. They like it hard, right? <laughs> Very hard. So uh, I'm not into spicy food, so I had to request them to make my food less spicy. Um, but uh, other than that, uh, I had a good experience. Uh, oh, the last thing I would say is uh, the flights, uh, like domestic flights, they are not reliable. So if you, they always see cancellation going on. Uh, like I remember when you're coming from uh, Port Harcourt to Lagos, they canceled a flight or they put the flight for later on. They re rescheduled. Uh, yeah, yeah, they shifted the time. And and uh, my friend, uh, Fred, my friend, when uh, he was supposed to leave today, but then they they canceled the flight until tomorrow. Yeah, he's supposed to go back to Calabar. He's a Calabar man. Uh, <laughs> so they shifted the flight to tomorrow. And uh, when I was coming here, I had thought about going back to Lagos. It's cheaper to fly from Lagos to the U.S. Uh, I thought about uh, going back to Lagos and catching a flight from Abuja to Lagos and then Lagos to, I'll fly Delta. Delta, actually, if you want to, Delta is a very good airline. Uh, what I do, I have a I have an American Express credit card, Delta Airlines credit card, and uh, they allow me to make three changes per, per ticket. So, like, like you can change the date you're going to travel for free. Uh, so if you're in the U.S. and uh, you need a good credit card, Delta, American Express Delta is, is really good. Uh, uh, you can change your flights. Uh, 
like uh, if you're not sure how long you're going to be staying when you travel out of, outside the country, you can change your flights up to four or three more times. Uh, uh, they allow you that. And then if you're flying domestic, uh, there's no there's no fee for check bag if you have a Delta credit card or American Express Delta credit card. Uh, so for what I was saying is uh, I intended to fly from um, Abuja to Lagos. The Lagos I connect to at Atlanta, so Delta goes to Atlanta. So that was my plan from then Atlanta to Phoenix. Uh, but then I did not want to take a chance because I would have I would had to fly from using a domestic airline from Abuja to Lagos, and since there's so much cancellation or rescheduling, I didn't want to take that chance, and uh, so I just took a flight from uh, Abuja to. Turkey is a Turkish airline. Turkey to oh, go New York, I'm going to JFK, then JFK to Phoenix is <laughs> a long flight. Uh, so I didn't want to take the chance, but I normally fly Delta. Um, I had a one way ticket coming here because I didn't know, uh, I did not know um, if I'll make it to Nigeria from Kenya. And uh, that's why I bought a one way ticket. And that's why I go from Nairobi to Lagos and uh, Lagos to Abuja. Um, but I normally fly Delta. They allow you to change your flights uh, up to three times. Um, so if you if you're connecting, if you're going to a different city, I'll suggest uh, if you're going to, if you're flying from Lagos, I'll suggest go a day ahead of time uh, so you don't miss your flight or maybe your flight might, might be rescheduled. It's better. Don't think you can just fly from one city to Lagos and connect to your destination. So I would advise just. Uh, fly uh, a day earlier so when you get to Lagos and then uh, from Lagos you can fly to where you go and most of the major airlines they fly to Lagos I don't know why maybe there's so many people there uh, but uh, they don't have a lot of airlines in Abuja uh, and I was trying to book the only options I had was Turkish and uh, British Airways that's the only two airlines that I was flying international from here um, so that, that's uh, that's about my trip here and I'm ready to go back. Uh, I've been gone for a long time, so I'm, I'm ready to go back to reality, <laughs> my boring life. <laughs> so I'll miss you when I'm gone, but we'll keep in touch. Uh, <laughs> we'll keep in touch, and uh, whenever you start your YouTube channel, let me know. Uh, I'll give you a shout-out on my channel so maybe people can watch you. <laughs> you can teach them how to make uh, Niger food. <laughs> uh, style, you, know, you know, in Kenya, we have something called uh, Nyamachoma, or that is... Uh, Roasted uh, beef or goat. Mm -hmm. They got some joints. You can go have some roast meat. But when I was here, I didn't see any. Uh, do they have any over here or something like that? Do they grill the food for you? Yeah, we have places like that. They can grill the food for you, the meat? Yes. Goat? Mm -hmm. Oh, you never took me there. I wanted to experience that. <laughs> but the, the kind of the how they make their goat is uh, they have the skin on the goat. They, they eat it with the skin. I, I didn't like that. <laughs> I had some goat stew, but I had skin on it. Uh, and then do they have uh, more? Well, the skin was burnt. I didn't they like They already burnt the hairs from the skin. <laughs> you know, just eating the skin, it grossed me out. <laughs> uh, and uh, do they have uh, Mogidi? Mogidi is like a. Uh, your own traditional music, you go listen to it. Do they have something like that? Yes. The Igbos have um, their traditional music, just like you said. Uh, What's the name? It's just called Mugidi. M Mugidi yeah, is a Kikui. The Igbos call Ogene. Ogene. There, there are places you go where they... they uh, they'll do Ogene. that traditional yeah. music. Uh, Especially the Igbos. Other tribes don't really do it, but the Igbos... They do it. Do it. Actually, what, what tribe are you? I don't even know what tribe you are. <laughs> I am Delta. Delta. Oh. Yeah. Like Delta Airlines? Delta. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so your tribe... I am oh. from Delta State and my tribe is called... Isoko. Isoko. Yeah. I speak Isoko. Okay, I know. English. I know Isokutu. Isokutu is a traditional like it's a drum in Kenya. <laughs> you know what Isoko Isokutu is? <laughs> Isoko. So your tribe is Isoko. Isoko, yes. So let's say uh, I like you, I want to marry you, I want to do a traditional wedding. What do I have to do? How many cows and goats do I have to take over to Isoko tribe? 
don't know how many goats. <laughs> okay, give us an estimate. <laughs> but our bread price is not really expensive. It's, it's not how much did your sister get sold for? Oh, no, no, get sold for. <laughs> how much dowry did they pay for your sister? You know, selling her. <laughs> the bread price itself, it depends on the girl's parents. Mm -hmm. They give you a list of things to buy. I know palm wine has to be one of them. Yes, palm wine, <laughs> But I, n I never tried palm wine. Some traditional yeah. stuffs and then they tell you the amounts they want you to pay uh -huh. as the bright price. It's not every cows and goats. Every parent have their different prices. Like my cousin, uh -huh. when she did her marriage, her husband took just 1500 for her bright price. So that's, that's it? just a little money. One thousand five hundred. Yeah. Naira, Naira money. Naira, or? Yeah, it's just one thousand five hundred. It's something you can tip. To. That's two dollars. Yeah, something you can. So parents will always say to the man. That's three hundred that, shillings. Listen, parents will always say to the man coming to marry their daughter that I'm not selling off my daughter to you. Mm -hmm. I'm just giving up my daughter to you not in marriage, but not, not for for sale. My daughter is not for sale. But not for two two thousand. That nah. it depends on the parents. Some some fathers, oh. some parents, some family want lots of money. They want big amount of money. Yeah. Some parents don't take too much. Mm -hmm. Like when my sister did hers, her bright price was just five hundred. Five hundred naira. Yeah, it's just that's, like one dollar. One dollar. That's it. Yeah. So I can have like ten wives here if I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's only one dollar to, to, for the bride price. Hey, you can have like 10 wives. <laughs> Parents will always tell you, when you get married to my daughter, I don't want you to have another wife. Really? Just my daughter alone. If you know you're tired, what? you come to me and tell me. I'm sick of this person. my daughter. Oh, you know, we don't when beat people. don't do something wrong to you, yeah, we don't beat her. We, we don't beat our women. We Kenyans, we don't do that. But what if you're Muslim? I'm like, I, I need four wives now. It was only a dollar for dowries. I might say, I'm all, I want four wives. I mean, most people here are Muslims anyway, right? Not all. I know, but we like half lots, of the country is Muslim. We have lots of Muslims here in Abuja. And Muslims, yeah, they um, do. Um, in Lagos, we also have lots of Muslims. But yeah. other states, uh -huh. we, have, um, we have Christians all over. Okay. Anyway, it's good to know. Uh, I was curious to know what tribe you're from, but at least you told me on youtube video i didn't even know I, I wanted to ask you that but i forgot to ask you when you were talking about yorubas in lagos i wanted to ask you that and then i wanted to ask about the dollar thing uh, maybe because if i might there, come back if, here if there are nigerians watching this um um my my tribe we say when you want to greet someone you say ming war or dig war dig war yeah it's just like greeting okay yeah. do you, and how do you respond to that Vendo. Vendo? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, and now we come to Kenya, I'll take you for Mugidi, you go see Samido. You know who Samido is? Mm -mm. He, he, no. He sings a song that says, Pitch my pimple. <laughs> That's a funny title, right? Mm -hmm. Pinch my pimple. <laughs> Pinch my pimple. <laughs> So this is Fred Agbai. Fred is the dad used to be my good friend. I yeah. stayed with him for 20, 28 years in Arizona. Yeah. He came back home, but unfortunately he passed away. But I always had told him I'll come to Nigeria to visit him one day. Yeah. But I never managed to visit him. But here I am. I'm yeah. the son. Yeah, I went to the son already. So my already. Yeah, so it's, it's just like the same. It's like I'm meeting the dad they look alike. Yeah. This is a young Agbai. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm grateful to have met you. Same, 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 yeah. Same, yeah. I'm grateful. Yeah, yeah. Thanks so much for always being there. You're welcome, you're welcome. Yeah, you, your dad would have done anything for anybody, so. All right, all yeah. right, thanks. Take care, uh, we'll keep in touch. Yeah, same, same. <laughs> anyway, guys, take care. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you on my next video in uh, Phoenix. The next video I'll be doing, I'll be in Phoenix. Uh, love you guys, take care, and... If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, just don't don't just watch. <laughs> the best way you can support me is by subscribing. Uh, like my channel, share, take care. I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.